Libya has vast oil deposits, but this North African country has long suffered from a shortage of fresh water. That is until scientists discovered water in the most unlikely of places, the Sahara Desert. For the past quarter century, Libya has been constructing a massive public works project with a most unusual name, the Great Man-Made River Project. So in this video, we are going to talk about the eighth wonder of the world found in Libya. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Few may know that Libya sits over the Nubian sandstone aquifer, a freshwater deep underground in the desert. The amount of water is estimated by scientists to be equivalent to 200 years of water flowing down the Nile. Most of this water was collected between 38,000 and 14,000 years ago, though some pockets are thought to be only 7,000 years old. There are four major underground basins. The Kufra Basin, lying in the southeast, near the Egyptian border, covers an area of 350,000 square kilometers, forming an aquifer layer more than 2,000 meters deep, with an estimated capacity of 20,000 square kilometers in the Libyan sector. The 600 meters deep aquifer in the Sirt Basin is estimated to hold more than 10,000 square kilometers of water, while the 450,000 square kilometer Merzuk Basin, south of Jebel Fezzan, is estimated to hold 4,800 square kilometers. More water lies in the Hamada and Kufra basins, which extend from the Kharkov Arch and Jebel Sada to the coast. The Great Man Made River Project, GMMR, project, the world's largest engineering venture, is intended to transport water from these aquifers to the northern coastal belt to provide for the country's 5.6 million inhabitants and for irrigation. Intended to be the showpiece of the Libyan revolution, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi called it the eighth wonder of the world. Holding 24 million cubic meters of water, Omar Mukhtar is the second largest reservoir in the world and a crucial element in Libya's ambitious $20 billion Great Man-Made River GMMR, project. The GMMR has been described as the largest irrigation project in the world. Since 1991, the project has supplied much-needed irrigation and drinking water to populous cities and farming areas in Libya's north, which previously were dependent on desalination plants and on declining rain-fed aquifers near the coast. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic. Before the implementation of the GMR, the Libyan people were desperate for a few drops of water throughout the year, says a government brochure describing the project. Now, with a daily flow of over 6 million cubic meters, there is enough water to supply each citizen in the Great Jamahiriya with over 1,000 liters per day. In addition, 135,000 hectares of land will be freed from drought. The GMMR has established important water supply well fields, including Sarur Sert, Tazabro Benkazi System, SSBT, Kufra Tazabro System, Sert Estata System, Jagbu Tabruk System, Hasuna Jefora System, and Kadamis Zwara System. The Tazabro well field is situated in southeastern Libya. The Tazerbo well field lies along the southwest-northeast alignment of the southern flank of the Hercinian uplifts, which forms the boundary separating the Kofra and Sirt basins. In 2005, the Great Man-Made River Authority awarded one of the most challenging sections of Libya's megawater transmission scheme, the construction of 380 kilometers for water conveyance between Al-Kufra and Tazerbo. The project is part of a multinational scheme monitored and supported by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, an organization under the United Nations. Libya began to conduct a feasibility study of the GMMR project in 1974 and established the GMR administration in 1983. In August 1984, Gaddafi personally laid the foundation for the Brega Pipe Factory. The first phase was completed in 1991. The completed pipeline is 1,200 kilometers long and provides 2 million cubic meters of water per day. After the water from hundreds of deet wells is pumped out, it first collects in Ajdabiya Reservoir, Ajdabiya, then flows westward through pipelines to the coastal city of Sirt and northward to Libya's second largest city, Benghazi. 
The designed water supply capacity of the second phase is 2.5 million cubic meters per day. It was completed in 1996 to supply water to cities and regions, including the capital Tripoli. On the opening day of the second phase of the project, Gaddafi said, This project is the best response to the United States of America and all those who associate Libya with terrorists or any such activities. It reveals the fact that Libya is a country that yearns for peace and progress. In 2009, the third phase of construction was completed. The total cost of the 25-year project is about 30 billion US dollars. Even if only three phases are completed, it is still the largest irrigation project in the world. Western media rarely report on this project and occasionally mention it with extreme condemnation, calling it Gaddafi's pet project, vanity project, and mad dog daydream. The great man-made river is made up of over half a million PCCP pipes each of which is 7.5 meters long, 4 meters in diameter, and 25 centimeters thick. Many more of these pipes will be required before the project is complete. In 2002, SNC-Lavalin was awarded a contract to design and manufacture PCCP using existing facilities in Serer in east-central Libya. The project required a restart of a number of facilities, such as batching, oxygen, acetylene, ice, and power generation plants. SNC-Lavalin completed the revamp and startup of the Sura facility in 2003 and has been producing massive water conveyance pipes ever since. As well, SNC-Lavalin continues its drilling work, with contracts underway for 298 wells in the Surrey well field and for good fields in Jandames and Kufra. You have to admire the long-term vision of the Libyan government for launching this project over 25 years ago, says Ben Nasa. Agricultural development in Libya has been hindered by the lack of adequate and reliable water resources. Once it is completed, the Great Man-Made River will provide close to 6 million cubic meters of water per day for residential, commercial, and agricultural use. The system will eventually irrigate about 74,870 hectares of land and help Libya attain its goal of becoming agriculturally self-sufficient. The rest of the water will continue to supply Libya's urban centers. Eight kilometers of carbonized metal wire is wound around each 7.5 meters long pipe segment in the GMR. The length of wire required for the first phase of the project alone could encircle the globe 230 times. The stone and sand used to manufacture its pipes would be enough to build 16 of the Giza pyramids in Egypt. The quantity of cement used in this project could build a highway from Tripoli to Mumbai. Thanks to the massive freshwater flow from the GNR, agriculture has become feasible also in desert areas. This project in the Jafara Plains consists of 3,300 hectares, divided into 665 farms. These farms produce different kinds of citrus fruits, wheat, barley, and vegetables. There were plans to plant millions of palm trees farther south, but fighting in recent years disrupted developments. Libyan law foresees that an environmental impact assessment is generally carried out before starting a major project. In the case of the GMNR, however, no assessment was ever conducted, as Khalifa al an advisor to the General Board of Environment, points out. Brown and Root and Price Brothers produced the original project design and the main contractor for the initial phases was Dong Ah, with Anka Construction and Al Na acting as subcontractors. The preliminary engineering and design contractor for Phase II is the Nippon Koei Halcro Consortium. The Frank Kenthal KSB Consortium won the pumping station construction and technical support contract. On 22 July 2011, NATO warplanes attacked a pipe-making plant at Brega, killing six of the facility's security guards. NATO claimed that the building had been used as a military storage facility and rockets were launched from there by pro-Gaddafi troops. The attack came shortly after Libya warned that NATO-led airstrikes could cause a human and environmental disaster if airstrikes damaged the great man-made river project. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.